Welcome to NC Spin Perspective, opinions from leaders across North Carolina. Delighted to be talking with Patrick Woody, the acting president of the North Carolina Rural Center. Patrick, uh, even with all of the changes that have taken place uh, in the rural center, we've still got these issues with rural North Carolina. Uh, tell us, what is the state of rural North Carolina? Today? Well, this is uh, something that, of course, we go to bed thinking about at night and get up thinking about first thing in the morning. And um, as you well know, and um, I know your roots in rural North Carolina go deep, as do mine and most of us at the center have some connection to rural North Carolina. Um, rural North Carolina still lags the state in a lot of ways, and so it, it really needs some focused attention going forward, and we're the organization that was founded 28 years ago for that purpose. So in a, in a large respect, we're going back to our roots, uh, back to the roots of the organization, um, and we're going to focus on really what are the things that we can do to help improve the economy uh, of rural North Carolina? Uh, we know the unemployment rate um, outdistance the urban counterparts. Uh, we know um, that uh, the poverty rate uh, is going the wrong way. After years of sort of seeing a steady decline, we've seen a reversal uh, in the poverty rate. Uh, we've seen median household incomes uh, stagnant or decline. Uh, we also health care issues, healthcare transportation issues, issues healthcare. education issues. And health care both from the standpoint of access to health care as well as um, um, the, just the health care statistics of rural North Carolinians when compared to their urban counterparts are huge issues, huge challenges that face us. Um, and so we want to really call attention to that and make sure the state as a whole understands. I think a lot of people sort of have this romantic notion that we can return back to the way it was in the turn of the 20th century or maybe even the mid-20th century. Are we ever going to get back there again? No. And the reality is we're, we're a changing state. And the face of North Carolina is changing tremendously, um, as you well know. And no longer does half, over half the population reside in rural North Carolina. Now less than half the population resides in, um, in rural North Carolina, and more than half of our state's population is concentrated in 15 counties. Um, and that is a, a trend that will never change. And we also see the face of rural changing because you have rural areas that are in close proximity to the urban parts of North Carolina and sort of that urban I-85 corridor. But you also have the more isolated rural parts of our state, and they look very different from the rural parts that are adjacent to urban areas, quite frankly. And so different strategies and different um, 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 solutions are going to have to be found to address um, you know, the different um, the different places. Are, are you optimistic at all for the rural section of our state? I mean, I, am. I mean, you look at this stuff and it's kind of depressing looking some of it. I am optimistic because the people of rural North Carolina are tremendously resilient um, and they very much are, um, you know, they're, they live where they want to live um, and they um, and they love where they live and they love where they live and they don't want to be anywhere else. And I also have great confidence in our state because I think looking through uh, not only the years but the decades and the centuries, North Carolina has always really risen to meet the challenges that we're facing it. And I do believe that one of the challenges, one of the many challenges facing our state is a growing urban-rural divide and that we must address it as a state, uh, uh, as a whole. Um, and I don't believe you can have a vibrant North Carolina without a strong urban and rural component. Patrick Woody, thank you for being on NC Spin Perspectives. We have more video throughout the week at ncspin.com.